Well, hello there. It's Sarah here, aka Queen of Queen from Vin Van Cardine, and welcome to another Saturday sipping session. This is actually the eighth of the series, and so today we're going to be talking about Chianti. I actually figured out how to flip the camera properly, so now when I show you the label, you should actually be able to read it. Only took eight episodes. A Chianti wine is basically a Sangiovese dominant wine produced in the Chianti region of central Tuscany in Italy, which is just here. The region is then divided into seven sub-regions, but wines that are made with grapes from the wider region of Chianti are simply labelled Chianti DOCG, like well, this bad boy here. You can see there, Denominazione DOCG. These wines contain at least 70% Sangiovese and can contain up to 10% of the white grapes Malvasia or Trebbiano. Wines made with grapes from one of the seven sub-regions will usually have the name of the region on the label. For example, uh, Chianti Rufina DOCG or Chianti Colli Senesi DOCG. Now these have to have 70% Sangiovese, the same as the normal Chianti, uh, and then the rest will usually be Italian grape varieties, but you can also find European grape varieties like your good old Cab Sav or your Merlot. Quality wines, you start off with the regular Chianti and then you've got a Chianti from one of the seven sub-regions and then you've got your Chianti Classico. Now these wines come from the heart of the Chianti region and the grapes used to make these wines are usually from vineyards that are at a higher altitude. And that just means that the grapes ripen a lot slower, resulting in wines with higher acidity and more herby, earthy tones. These wines contain 80% Sangiovese, they can't have any white grape varieties, and they have to be aged for at least 12 months. It's quite easy to spot a Chianti Classico because the symbol is a black cock, a rooster. Next, you've got your Chianti Classico Riserva DOCG, and these wines have to be aged for at least 24 months. And then on top of that, you've got the Gran Selezione, and this basically means that the grapes grown uh, for these wines come from a single estate, plus it's been aged for an extra six months. But what does a Chianti taste like? Well, a Sangiovese tends to have aromas and flavors of red and black cherry, violets, herbs, spice, and earth. Now, body and tannins tend to increase with quality. So they can range from really light and fruity and easy drinking to something a lot chunkier, heavier, with a lot more tannins and earthy tones. Other wines that include a large proportion of Sangiovese are labeled uh, Brunello di Montalcino and Morellino di Sansano, um, although they are slightly different in style. And you can also find uh, Sangiovese plantings in places like Argentina, uh, France, the US, although the vast majority uh, do come from Italy. Now, food-wise, uh, I would recommend pairing with tomato-based dishes, especially Italian styles like your bolognese, uh, lasagna or pizza. And lucky for us, we have a brand new recipe from Boli's Kitchen. He's going to show us how to make an aubergine and courgette Parmigiana, uh, sorry about the pronunciation, um, so can't wait to try that and if you are interested in Italian recipes in general then I would recommend checking out Menomali on uh, Facebook and Instagram. She's got loads of really really amazing Italian recipes that you can try yourself at home. Okay so let's look at this week's wine, here we go, hope you like the uh, cork stop. This was a housewarming gift from a friend of ours, Brig. Hi, Brig, if you're watching. Um, so, as I said, this is a regular Chianti. It's just Chianti Dio CG, so it's not from one of the seven sub-regions, which means that it's one of the bog-standard wines. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't mean to offend any regular Chianti Dio CG uh, winemakers. Um, it's quite a vibrant ruby colour which is what you'd expect. The regular Chianti's are 
meant to be drunk young they are quite fresh and fruity um and so you've got you can quite you can see that in the color i'm not sure if you can, you can see the reflections maybe um on the nose you've got that red and dark cherries and a, quite a bit of spice there which is quite nice but then on the palette it's again it's dry it's medium bodied um this wine says it's full bodied i don't necessarily agree but there we are um got really high acid really harsh as well like harsh in the alcohol harsh in the acid this is only 12.5 percent so you shouldn't really get that afterburn that i'm getting right now you do get some of the cherry some of the spice um there's not there's not much tan in there and there's really hardly any finish apart from like i said the the burn um all in all it's not a very nice wine um maybe maybe cook with it i mean this is 4.49 says it all really doesn't it so there you have it i hope you've enjoyed this week's saturday sipping session all about chianti uh really need to start getting some nicer wine but there we go i drink the shit stuff so you don't have to uh if you do get your hands on a nicer chianti which shouldn't be hard then uh please tag us in your posts or send us photos we love to hear from you and we love to see what you guys are drinking and um, there will be another saturday sipping session next week so keep an eye on our social media we are on instagram facebook and twitter at Vin Van Cardine. and do not forget about our new youtube channel um because i think we may have five subscribers now awesome um big shout out as well to our biggest fan uh lucy postlethwaite um a very good friend of ours who is in barcelona who probably has a slightly better access to awesome wines than we do but there we go hi lucy um so until next week stay safe drink your wine at home and yeah i'm not gonna drink this Thank <laughs> you.